challenge or food review or a recipe made by Miss Shan or myself, well, you're at the right place. You're at Triple B, Big Belly Bob. You ready? Because I, I have another, another banger, banger for you. you. What's up, guys? It's Big Belly Bob here. Miss Shan. And it is time for the Triple B Squad because I got a banger for you. <laughs> All right, guys, so you heard it. By popular demand, it is the Triple B Squad now. So, Triple B Squad, I'm going to need y'all to do one thing for me, two things for me, a few things for me. Give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and comment below. <laughs> share it out. Share it out. If you're new to the channel, check out Miss Shan Shorty Recipes. Make sure you hit the notification bell and subscribe to the channel. All right. I still said it. I can't help it. All right. Let's go ahead and get this prayer on so we can get into this um, Mexican feast here. Heavenly Father, thank you for this meal. We pray that you continue to keep us safe. Keep our faith strong and protect all of our friends and loved ones. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. So as you can see, we have... Huh? What you got? You got a, a lot. Yeah, I didn't know it was going to end up being looking like this, but hey, uh, I'm going to show you over here. But man, I got the Texani nachos, which are steak, chicken. You can see that shrimp on there. Uh, and then it's got the regular like lettuce, guacamole, sour cream. Got some steak tacos. Got chicken, chicken, a chicken chimichanga. And I got rice and beans back here. And Miss Sam, what do you have? I have pollo fundido. Which is it's pretty much like a fried chicken burrito, sour cream, and cheese on the top. And some beans and some rice. Oh, and I have some, uh, just some regular cheese and beef for my chips. Some nice bag of chips and some salsa. Mm -hmm. And a beer. Let's see, if I can get that up there and make it look good for you. But that's got the shrimp, the steak, and the chicken on there for that first bite. Can I have a knife, please? Mm-hmm. Gracias. Mm-hmm. Hopefully that first bite was as good for you as it was for me. That's the bean side. And then it's the regular side. So I got some extra containers down here. Let me get some of this stuff out. This looks like some more uh, queso cheese. That's for the nachos. I know, but I wanted it over there too. Oh, a fork went in the beans. How's everyone doing today? Hope you are having a good Friday, Saturday. Mm -hmm, no days. <laughs> well, it is the weekend, so that's a safe way of saying it. You're having a wonderful weekend. Ah mm -hmm. oh, man, let me get a little bit more of this stuff on here. I don't know if that's hot, but I'm gonna go ahead and try that first. Let me just dig in a little bit and we'll get into this other stuff. This is one of my favorite dishes I usually always get. Mm-hmm. Well, usually I usually always get it from a certain place, but I did I'm not want to try something new. Yeah, Damn. and they actually have it on the menu, because not everyone has it on the menu. I think they should, but they don't. Mm -hmm. So I got lucky. But yeah, it's got like chicken and peppers and onions, and then like a cheese sauce. Like I said, fried, that's a big bite. And fried, that's a really big bite. Mm-hmm. I just take a little bit of barbecue and chew it all down real quick. <laughs> so if you notice, I started off the video saying the Triple B Squad I had on my community post is still up there. Um, when you're seeing this video, so it had two posts that had basically 10 choices for names that came from the comments. And the two that was leading before I did this video was the big, uh, the belly bunch and the Triple B Squad, which had more votes. That's why I tried that intro out. <coughs> so 
So please comment below if you like that one and if you're happy with the Triple B Squad. I like it. We always come with that lineup, you know? Like, look at your plate compared to mine. This is our plate, guys. I'm just thinking like... Why she trying to say that's all mine? She's not going to eat none of that? No. Well, look, I'm sharing with them. How's that look, guys? There's an up-close, slow... Yeah, it ended up being a monster of a plate. But I'm going to sit here and put in some work, okay? Nacho? I guess you kind of got stuff over there. Mm -hmm. I wish I would have had more shrimp. I only see about three good, big, big size shrimp in there. But it definitely has a lot of steak, chicken, the peppers, and all that. So this weekend is going to be a special weekend because uh, Miss Shannon and I, as long as everything goes planned, we're going to have some special guests in town. Let's see. So you will find that out later tonight. And in the upcoming videos in the next couple of days, we'll be with our special guests. And we are excited to have them here. This food is really good. I wish I had have some jalapenos or something. Mmm. You have no jalapenos over there? No, actually, I don't have any jalapenos. Huh. I did find another piece of shrimp berry back here, though. Okay. Yes, my jalapenos would have been right, but. My salsa got a nice little, I think oh, a little yeah. kick to it, so. Try to just rice some beans real quick. Oh yeah. Give you a little bite. Oops, gave the table a bite. The table always does a bite. Yeah, the table should be full every meal. <laughs> I mean, this food is really good. That's kind of like, or well, I'm really hungry, but it's kind of hard to talk and eat. So I'm trying. Bear with me. Like I said, it's from a new restaurant that we have not had yet, and it's funny because it's only about two miles from the house. But we always go to another one over there. Said Mexican is in my top two favorite type of restaurants. What kind of steak tacos are those? Or are they steak? <laughs> what kind yeah. of steak tacos? Are those steak tacos? Yeah, just steak. <laughs> steak, and then I have the chicken chimichanga. It's not really going to make it for me to give you guys a delicious bite, so just take my word for it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to this weekend because today's weather was a lot was nicer today like I said we went from rainy dreadful weather to the sun was out I think the other day now was the first day of spring it is tomorrow the 20th right yep so. but today's the yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, no dates. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I can already see my little flowers starting to sprout up. I feel so bad sometimes because it's like they sprout out prematurely. I feel like every year that they pop out and then we'll have another snowstorm. Mm -hmm. And we like cover your flowers <laughs> on the news. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm like, man, I thought it was gonna be nice. Mother Nature can't make up her mind. I'm bringing my favorite beer. Heineken Light. Mm-hmm. All right, let me get some more of these nachos. Let me get my nacho, mama. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna try to eat all this. I'm definitely not trying to lose no weight with a platter like this. Mm-hmm. As always, comment below. Where's your favorite item to get? When you go to a Mexican restaurant. Did I even say the name of this one? Dare you say the name? <laughs> the Guadalajara Grill. <laughs> You've been practicing. I was practicing on the whole way to the car so I didn't mess it up. Just for you. <laughs> Come call Steel Sneaker for you in there. <coughs> Did anybody catch? <laughs> Man, I'm gonna choke here. I kind of like the Triple B squad. Like I said, it's it's cool. I'm sports oriented. Um, and then I got to throw in my Bruce uh, Buffer. It's time for my <laughs> UFC. Don't get me for that one, man. It's time. <laughs> mm. Five rounds in the light heavyweight division. Bruce Buffer, though. They be showing out with them suits. Yeah, that brother be clean. He be having... He be changing his suits during the, uh... Damn near, don't he? Yeah, he like to see <laughs> He be like... Hey. No, he would come out with different jackets uh, at an event. He'll have more than one event. More than one jacket on. At the main event, he might have the, the, the extra fancy one on. Yeah, yeah. The, the little flashy one with mm-hmm. the shininess on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going to say he's like the, uh, the Steve Harvey of the announcers. You know, Steve Harvey was always known for mm-hmm. those uh, flashy suits mm-hmm. and nice suits. So Bruce Buffer definitely, he is a man that has lived a wonderful, wonderful life, I would yeah, assume. His, uh, brother is the boxing announcer, right? Right, yeah, it's, yeah. let's get ready to rumble guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I wonder how their house was like growing up. Yeah. I'm gonna look this up because I honestly think, I didn't know it, I think they were like, Maybe that's the, the the fighters, Ken Shamrock and one of them. I'm getting confused. I don't think they knew each other like growing up or something. Or, oh, so they might not have grown up. In the yeah, same I'm house. trying to think what's the story with that one. If you guys know it, comments below. Hmm. I'm gonna try to research it, but it is coincidence that they both were world known, very highly paid world travel uh, ring announcers. Yeah, it's like did they get it from their daddy? Or did they get it from the mama. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And they kind of look similar. Yeah. So, Bruce Buffer, if you're watching, please let us know. Hey, you know, Joe Rogan, chime in, buddy. <laughs> Bring me up on the podcast, man. <laughs> Either that or Mike Tyson, bring me up on your show. And I was having the nachos hit my mouth. That's like the worst feeling when you're eating nachos. Um. But it stabs you in the mouth. I'm like, why? I'm just trying to enjoy your goodness and you hurt me. Hey, <laughs> you know? <laughs> no. Like, why are you punishing me? <laughs> right. Hey, I think Doritos is like, to be considered a deadly weapon for yeah, real. Yeah, they need to definitely have a warning on Doritos. Like, <laughs> this might uh, cut you. Yeah, Doritos <laughs> will get you. They might snap back at you when you try to bite it. Oh, uh-huh. oh. Yeah, it's like the um, that one supplement that I'm taking and how it is so soluble. It's a water-soluble powder. So it's like, excuse me, when you take it, it there's a warning on there that says you will choke if you, mm-hmm. if you try to swallow it just without any water because it instantly clumps up into like a soluble, fibrous type of uh, texture. and. I mean, that's dangerous. <laughs> They're dangerous. Mm-hmm. I couldn't believe it. it was like a science experiment how it uh, just kind of 
instantly absorb water. Congealed. Yeah. Like I never knew about that. It's I wonder if some of that that concept though. It's kind of the same thing with a gel capsule. Ah. You know, mm -hmm. it's just already in that form. So this is just another way to cut out the manufacturer, so to say. Not have to make it into a pill form. They just give it to you. You add it to the water, and it makes what it needs to do. Mm-hmm. Did you put some salsa in your nachos? Hmm. Salsa. I've been adding it as I go. Ah. I'm trying to knock out these tacos. But I probably say, well, I ate half of the chimichanga over here. And I'll probably work on the nachos and say that because that'd be easier to warm up. But since I got so many chips, it's not like I can't. You might have two chimneys over there. I can't even tell anymore. Like, mine looks like these. It's supposed to have been two. Oh, cool. Mmm. -hmm. You got steak meat and chicken in there. That might have been something to stay from the other stuff. It is the weekend. Uh -huh. I am ready to relax after this. What y'all got planned? Maybe play the video games. Unless you're going to go back and finish watching your group, Paul. Oh. Uh, mm hmm. Getting down to the wire. <laughs> I tried to get this meal in a little earlier so I wouldn't interrupt her group, Paul, night. What did happen? But. I did get her her favorite thing. Now, how does that compare to La Hacienda? Oh, La Hacienda is great because that's where it originated from for me. Okay. But that's good. It still got the same concept. Like you know, it's got this little. I like the little hard edge, and then they try to let the meat hanging out, like kind of crisp up, so it's like a burnt, mm -hmm. burnt edge kind of. Kind of thing. I like the burnt edges on a burger. <laughs> mm hmm. I'm not really too big. I'm just happy because. Yeah. Oh, that's why my rice is still here. Oh, uh, yeah, I didn't know. I was like, well, I just add I really the rice. I like beans. <laughs> yeah, and your beans. <clears throat> but I, um. We're just hoping she found a place closer to home so I don't have to drive as far when she has that taste. I mean, I still go out there, but you know, if we can get it quickly, we'll probably eat it more since it's closer. Use my fork. Did you actually score some lime on your stuff? I actually did. Mm. What did you be in all the You see it? Look. I don't know if I hit all the nachos though. I know I hit oh, my last taco. Put taco. I did. Mm. I know that's what I put it on for sure. That was when I had the rice beans and some of the stuff over there on top of it. Hey, let me tell you about Chum. Chum is a Vietnamese translation commonly known as dip. So enjoy this mouth-watering flavors of the Vietnam on your crab leg, your steaks, your veggies. Every bottle of Chum sauce comes with fresh herbs and the finest ingredients to ensure the quality in every bottle. It will spice up the flavors of every meal. It even comes in extra spicy for those who really love a kick. You can find my referral link in the description box. So click that link and don't forget to use the code triple B to get that extra savings at checkout. I did film a challenge video. Well, I filmed the beginning of the challenge video and the end of the challenge video. I technically forgot to actually film the challenge. So, and then I'm going to give him a shout out for what challenge I did. Sorry, that was Marquise Hilson's How Many Slices Can You Eat in Five Minutes Challenge, which was basically a medium pizza. I won't tell you how good I did, but let's just say I was full and upset that the camera didn't record. So I'm not sure if I'm going to redo that challenge because I'm trying to stay away from eating whole pizzas in five minutes. <laughs> well, at least not doing it twice because yes, I ate a whole pizza in less than five minutes. Hey, not too many people can put that on their resume. All right. I mean, I've seen people do it in two minutes, <laughs> but I still think I did, you know, a good job knocking it out. 
Um, maybe it'll be coming in the future. Maybe I'll redo it, but not right now. But I still want to get Marquise Hilson his credit. I actually have the footage from the beginning and the end, so maybe I'll add how happy I was in the beginning, and then I'll add how sad I was when I realized I still have a slice left and the camera's not even recording. So. Guess who ate the last slice? I think she was secretly praying for something to happen. <laughs> no, I wasn't. I was eyeballing it though, like, hey. If you don't uh, finish that pizza, why don't you go ahead and give me a pizza? It was a delicious deep dish pizza or pan pizza. I had the beef, the green pepper, and mushrooms on there. It was a tasty pizza. Oh man, I am full already. <coughs> I didn't even put a dent in these nachos. I actually I did though. Because I put more nachos on there than I had meat and stuff. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, Mexican food fills me up. Mm-hmm. That's my thing. Like I said, the good thing is I can still warm all this up. Mm-hmm. We got gang of uh, chips left. So sometimes I might just break this down and re put it back on some other chips. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Make sure you guys tune in to my community tab later this evening so you can see where I'm at and who I'm with because we probably will be going live later tonight. It might be on their channel, not mine, so that's why I say pay attention to my community tab. Yeah, I hit the word there. <laughs> yep. We're going to have a squad. Triple B squad. <laughs> I'm just trying to throw it out there. All right, like I said, I'm going to leave on my community tab where I'm going to be and who I'm going to be with. I'm also going to leave up there just in case if you guys are still voting. Uh, but I think I'm going to stick with the Triple B Squad. Um, I think that's what it's going to be. So you are now my Triple B Squad. Welcome. Welcome, welcome to the squad. You know, it is time. It is time to go ahead and let y'all go. Because I'm full. I ate some nachos. I ate some rice beans. I'm probably going to eat this one off camera. I'm ready to dress that up. Uh, but I'm going to need you guys to give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead and comment below. Share it out. Share it out. Make sure you go check out Miss Shan's Shorty Recipes. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Big Belly Bob. Namaste. Peace, Triple B Squad. Bye, Triple B Squad.